Search looks so gay. I got a huge sense of a sense of community off of it because it reminds me of like being in high school again with like the GSAs, you know, and having that like big sense of like you know we're family, you know we're all here for each other, y'all valid, you know let's get together and ride bikes. I understand Cirque du Soleil to be a um, like a big fun bike ride, a nice rainbow bike ride. The model for Cirque du Soleil is that each of those checkpoints on the route is somehow affiliated with queer culture. So maybe they'll find out about a nonprofit that's doing some awesome project that they want to become involved in. It's fun to see what the different or businesses and organizations come up with as activities. The Pride Work Group, which is a group that we have at the library, they suggested we do button making and they had these adorable little templates um, of like cats with the different like uh, letters from the LGBTQIA alphabet. Reclaim is a mental health organization that prov um, provides mental health services for queer and trans youth ages 13 to 25. So the activity we did was um, something to benefit our youth. The writers came in, they made like encouraging messages like, you know, you're beautiful, you're great. Youth can pull it out from wherever if they need like encouragement or like a laugh. I want people to learn about what, what is going on in the community how they can become involved in things that are going on in the community. It, there's nothing like formally established in terms of a LGBT community center, right? Part of the objective of having the ride was so that people could connect to each other. Because some, some of the, the spaces for people connecting have been traditionally hidden. Seeing faces, I mean, there's a lot to be said about seeing people and being like, this is my community, these are my peoples, they understand. And also just to be Connecting with each other, making friends, finding people to date. <laughs> For people who already bike, it's a space that you know makes them feel welcome. One of the things that I love about it is that people always show up in costumes and just are very creative and how they're kind of exuding their queer energy. There's only so many days of the year that you get that really open, supportive, non-judgmental atmosphere. So that happens during Pride, you know, as far as like the openness and like, you know, the LGBTQ community, but it also happens with Cirque du Soleil. If there's anybody out there that this sounds really fun and you want to be involved, let us know. We need new folks telling us about what's out there and what's cool these days for queer people. Cirque du Soleil is awesome. Ha, 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 ha.